Starting your own business is probably the most sought after venture in the year 2023 because everyone wants to be their own boss. Well, I started a can cleaning business 60 days ago and it went really well, making me a total of You're gonna have to watch till the end of the video to hear that number, but listen, I can say after 60 days, I've learned so much more. If done right, this side hustle can easily make you upwards of five to $6,000 a month. Trust me, you don't wanna miss this. I'd say the number one problem with people is not understanding how low entry a lot of these service businesses are. And I constantly preach walking before you run, which the people over at Quarterback you agree and support me by helping to continue making these videos. QuadIQ is giving away this Ford work truck in a few weeks to a premium or platinum subscriber of QuadIQ. So if you need help keeping up with customers, sending estimates, invoices, or collecting payments, give QuadIQ a try for free. Just click the link in the comment section and the description of this video. QuadIQ is the fastest way to send estimates, invoices, and secure payments from your customers and even provide you with real-time business analytics such as close ratios, sales, and expense tracking. Now, back to what I was saying. When I first started off the side hustle, I took the bottom line of costs into consideration and my main starting equipment was, of course, the pressure washer being a 1900 psi electric ryobi washer followed by an extension cord some trash bags various chemicals including bleach degreaser fabuloso and the two gallon sprayer to mix it all into some equipment i would say needs to be added into that list would be the foam cannon as well as an auto wash soap that you can easily find in an auto zone this may seem crazy why use a car wash soap on a can it's because it provides significant levels of value to your service and customers notice this additional items that need to be added would be a pair of tongs along with gloves to pick up the excess trash in case the customer hadn't gotten rid of it and a turbo nozzle to go on top of your pressure washing wand for maximum pressure. Being that I'm also a mobile detailer, I've tried using multiple different tips and never really had strong success or power that the turbo nozzle seems to provide. Therefore, this does up your overhead when it comes to the total investment into your business, but every little bit that you add makes your jobs move much smoother and simpler when you have all the right tools. Not having the right tools led me to some of my more costly mistakes, including doing a job for a customer where I was denied doing service in the front yard and ended up killing the customer's backyard glass due to chemical exposure. Now, this wasn't a matter of having the right tools, but of course having the right amount of experience, but when you first start out, you're not going to have either, and learning on the job is going to become very familiar for you. In the case of not being allowed to do the service on concrete, you need to make sure you dilute your bleach even more with some extra water from the hose nearby, or even move the can to a portion of the concrete when you do that portion of the service. Another issue was going too close to the cans with the turbo nozzle spraying full pressure onto the pane of the can and ripping it off. The solution to this would have been to allow myself to use the chemicals to get the gunk removal off and not solely rely on the pressure that my pressure washer is creating. The incorporation of the tongs comes from the issue with leaving trash in the customer's yards that might have been stuck to the bottom such as plastic bags or wrappers of different sorts. This addition just allows you to avoid grabbing soaked and nasty garbage and bagging it after which trust me you won't want to do. One aspect of my service that hasn't changed very much and that's my pricing except now I like to make sure to request the location of the customer whether they give me their exact address or something that's near it I can figure out how far I am. On jobs that are over 25 to 30 minutes I would charge an additional travel fee on top of what I would normally charge which is 25 for the first trash can so in case they have only one you can still make a a minute or more. Then for any additional cans, I try to get to $15 and that way you can make them feel the bulk option is better as they get a discount for any additional cans after the first one. More than likely, if you get your process of cleaning down and practice it enough, you should be able to knock out $50 in 25 to 30 minutes and the intensity on these jobs is very low, no hard labor which most people seem to get confused about. Some common questions I now feel educated enough to answer are whether or not you should use the customer's water and power and the answer is absolutely. No customer that I've ever had has given me any trouble over the fact that I needed to use their water and power the service isn't very demanding or long so it's not costing them much compared to how much you charge if you needed to haul all that equipment. That's of course not to say there aren't any outliers, some people are going to have issues with things just to cause a fuss, and that's okay because you're going to let them know ahead of time, which means before the job, that in order to work you need to plug your hose in and extension cord into something. Another question being, is 1900 PSI good enough to clean trash bins? I've said it many a times, I personally have a 1900 Ryobi PSI electric washer and this thing has done wonders, I even run my mobile detailing business with it. If I can wash some cars with it, I promise a trash can isn't going to be a problem for you, highly recommend the one that I have or another one will work too, just depends on how much you're willing to spend on. On it. Lastly, a common question I feel that needs to be answered is what to do with the excess trash that a person may leave in the cans on the day of the cleaning. This may often be the case that they have removed the bags but the cans have never been washed and the wrappers are stuck to the bottom. Like I said earlier, just flip the can on its side and wash them out. Then proceed to pick up the trash with some tongs and place them into extra trash bags so that you don't leave a mess. Another one of my rather large mistakes you need to avoid is cleaning the cans on fresh concrete. This may not seem like too big of a deal but the sludge that comes out of the cans is not pretty and if you forget to wash it away or at least off the concrete it will stain. Let's call the guy Mr. James. Well, Mr. James won't be using my services again, it's fair to say, and his very long driveway was marked up by the cleaning. Had I washed the dirt away, this wouldn't have been a problem at all. That's of course an example of a client lost, but something should be said for maintaining your clients and even turning one client into multiple without having to mark it at all. This may sound crazy and you're probably not going to believe me, but I managed to turn one client into four using this one secret. I'm totally
totally kidding. It's never just one thing. You need to be very quick and responsive to the messages, kind and polite in your messages, and bring great value and look like you know what you're doing. I landed this customer and did their cans, receiving a wonderful message after about how thrilled they were with the results, only to get a text the next day about doing their son's cans. Then I went and did the son's cans. He loved the service and recommended me to a family friend who sent me to one of their clients. This just goes to show if you treat each job like your last, you run the chance of getting large tips or even recommendations that cost you nothing and largely increase your own revenue. Don't get me wrong, there's hundreds of side hustles that can make you money, but this one takes the cake with how easy the labor is on your body. Detailing cars takes a level of patience and serious manual labor to get into the cars, scrub things down, vacuum under the seats, and get every nook. At the end of the day, the service you're doing is cleaning trash cans, and while I take pride in making these things transform, always leaving Fabuloso in the cans so these people can't even smell trash and need my services again, people just don't have that high of expectations for these cleanings, and therefore you have full opportunity to impress your customer and reap the benefits. On a more serious note, you won't be around to keep those rewards if you don't take the safety precautions more seriously. Seriously. In my first video on starting a can cleaning business for 30 days, I do mention you need a face mask, glove, and eye protection. In a lot of these clips, as you guys can see, I only have one of the three on, and after some jobs, I really do feel the consequences. As well as one guy I saw on TikTok who cleans trash cans using his POV, he passed out due to chemical inhaling from providing this service, and this could have been prevented by the safety. In a lot of my jobs more recently, I always make sure to at least use glasses and a face mask just to avoid any issues. I'm not very fond of wearing face masks due to the last couple of years that we've had, so I usually just wrap a shirt around my face like a bandana and that does the trick so if you guys want a tutorial on that i can make that happen but seriously gloves are also an important aspect too even touching these chemicals though they're diluted can still be dangerous all right on a less serious note i need you guys to let me know if you'd be interested in me releasing my facebook marketing strategy and how i've landed hundreds of jobs for free not even just for this one service my strategy ranges all the way to odd jobs mobile detailing and even concrete cleaning slash pressure washing if this is something that you'd be interested in learning how to do or you're tired of passing out flyers to get one customer and door knocking to get 100 people to tell you no to your face, then maybe I can help. Comment down below Facebook and maybe I'll give it to you for free. Also, a quick shout out to Chris Liddy for commenting the keyword blueprint on one of my last videos. If you want a chance to be mentioned in a video, comment the word Facebook and get your chance now. Thank you guys so much for watching. I couldn't do it without y'all and I'll catch you in the next video. Peace!